boyfriend and I both emotionally cheated, can the relationship be salvaged? My boyfriend and I have been together for over five years and have for the most part had a typically healthy relationship. For context, we're high school sweethearts, I'm his first everything and I previously had one two-year toxic relationship with a narcissist which at such a young age did a number on me. We got together about six months after my previous relationship ended and dated for a year before finishing school and deciding to move away to a city together for college and have now lived out of home together for four years or so. Fast forward to now, I am no angel myself. I don't have many friends. I was a part of a friend group I was really close to in high school before being pushed out after the breakup with the narcissist due to him being the group leader per se recently, that ex break up with another of a string of girlfriends and reach out to me to apologize for ostracizing me all those years. I saw it as an opportunity to be able to reconnect with the rest of the group so played nice and was eventually able to reconnect with everyone and go back to playing games online together like we used to in high school but anytime I upset said X, I'm put on the out again. Here's where the problem lies. The X has admitted to having feelings for me and often makes uncomfortable comments despite knowing I'm in a committed relationship, although I know it's wrong in order to keep the peace and remain in contact with those other friends, not get kicked from the server, I tend to play coy and in some cases have crossed the line by replying with comments that could be perceived as flirtatious and as a result me enabling him to continue that behavior towards me. I am not in any way physically or emotionally attracted to this ex and have no intention of ever getting back with him in any capacity, but after a night out for one of the friend's birthdays where the ex was present, we didn't even speak to each other, my boyfriend's insecurities got the better of him and he went through my phone and found the messages. I'm sure you can imagine how well that went down, I was awoken to him visibly shaking with shock slash anger asking if I had something to explain to him. After several long and emotional discussions, we're both left feeling like there is no trust on either side after these transgressions. I have suggested separating, despite not wanting to myself, as I know a lack of trust can eventually turn into resentment and cause further damage but he doesn't want to given we have a dog together, we're planning to get engaged and buy a house in the next year or two. I'm just wanting to get some outside perspective and understand if the relationship is even salvageable at this point. Comment. Yes. This is such a small thing to split up over considering how long you two have been together and the life you've made so far. People love to run when things get hard, but solid relationships and marriages are like seasons. Sometimes they're great and sometimes they're not so great. I've been W my girlfriend for 12 years, and although I dreadfully hate the term, we're high school sweethearts. Sure, both of you emotionally cheated, but it was just a little porn and flirting. Learn to forgive and trust one another again, because this is so minuscule compared to what you'll face in marriage. A little flirting is harmless, as long as it's not W someone you know, or in your case, an ex. And as long as it stays at vocal compliments, nothing crude, and don't bring it home, including texts. If you guys really love each other and want to be together, you can make it work. Just lose the ex or check him next time he makes crude comment and delete the of account. Both of your feelings are valid and both of you were in the wrong, but like I said, it's such a small issue. Forgive each other, order takeout, and watch a movie. Hope this helps cause it took me a little bit to type this out. K-op, a few questions. Do you want to save this relationship? I don't get the impression that you have loving feelings for your BF. Does he want to save the relationship? It's not clear whether he wants to save it either. Both of you cheated on each other, however, neither of you actually physically participated. I'm not sure a break is going to help your relationship. What needs to happen is both of you agree to work together to deal with the lack of trust on both sides. It's going to be hard work on both sides, and will require an extraordinary level of commitment and communication from both of you. Can it be done? Yes but only if both of you want it, and are willing to work together to make it happen. Maybe your communication style is dry and matter of fact,
but your commitment and love for your BF just isn't apparent in what you've written. As such, it leads me to conclude that perhaps you don't have it in you to salvage this relationship. I can't speak for your BF, because his POV is not really discussed. To me, if you both are much more committed, than reflected in your post, then I think you should do what you can to salvage this. If not, rather than taking a break, I think you should just break up and move on with your lives. Next story 2. How should I approach this situation with my boyfriend? I am very conflicted with my current situation. My boyfriend and I have been dating for a little over a year. I have a rocky relationship history, so it's very difficult for me to love people, I've dated other men in the past, but never allowed myself to fall for them. Anyways, when we met, it was an almost instant connection. We were both really attracted to each other and started dating after about four-ish months. He is one of the nicest, most genuine, sensitive people I have ever met, which made it much easier to trust him. He always treats me well, and is always extremely understanding. It felt like I hit the jackpot. About six months into the relationship, I started noticing some patterns. He has a lot of social anxiety, so he tends to drink when he's at social events, parties, bars, etc. Also, we are in college, so it's extremely common. But, I began to notice the sheer quantity of how much he was drinking. He would drink the equivalent of 15 drinks in the span of an hour and a half. At this point, however, it was more just annoying than a cause for alarm. As time went on, his drinking became a lot more, I don't know, characteristic. He was a lot more aggravated when he drank, and would frequently become almost catatonic. When he drank, he wouldn't know what was going on around him, and would almost always freak out and take it out on me. For example, one night, he came home from hanging out with his friends, and was very clearly drunk. I kind of laughed at it, because he was being very clumsy and acting, well, drunk. He proceeded to freak out and scream at me for an hour, claiming that I was laughing at him. This type of situation would happen at least once a week. One day, the morning after one of these situations happened, he broke down crying and told me that he had made out with another girl six months prior. I was there that night, it was at a house party, and I was in another room comforting a girl. She was crying because, a girl at the party, let's call her D, was trying to get with her boyfriend. All the girls agreed that D was throwing herself at every guy there, knowing that they all had girlfriends. Anyway, apparently, during that time, my boyfriend and D were making out upstairs. However, since I was at the party, I can attest that he was, as per usual, insanely drunk. So yes, he has an issue with drinking. But he also admitted what happened, full of remorse and insane guilt. He had been throwing up from anxiety ever since. Vowed to stop drinking. I said I don't want him to, because I don't want to be restrictive. I just told him to try and limit himself. Anyways, to make a long story short, I don't really trust him, and I'm young. Should I just cut my losses and move on? Once again, he is legitimately the most amazing man in the world whenever he is sober. In my experience, there's not that many good guys, and I feel like I would be throwing away something otherwise amazing. Also, this is his first relationship, so I'm pretty sure a lot of these problems are rooted in immaturity. Anyways, I'm willing to answer any follow-up questions. Any advice is deeply appreciated. Comment leave. It sounds like he has alcoholism and is using it as a coping mechanism for social events. It will not get better. The behavior you are describing is very problematic. Is his alcoholism. Not all people would agree but it is very bad behavior. You are not being restrictive if you tell him that the drinking is ruining the relationship. Let him decide what to do. Think of it this way, you're not his therapist. Do you really want to go into a relationship where you have to fix the guy? That sounds miserable. 
Find a relationship where the guy is mentally stable. He definitely should stop drinking and you should leave regardless. Next story 3. My friend wants to befriend my ex again. What should I do? I had this complicated relationship with my ex for a while. It was on slash off, weird situationship but I shortened it to ex to make it less complicated. He put me through a lot of painful things that did traumatize me. I'm now trying to heal from all of it. His best friend, let's refer to him as Jay, has known my ex longer. They've been friends for about 6 to 7 years before I got into the picture. I met Jay through my ex and ever since then, LVE been pretty good friends with Jay. Jay was also aware of our relationship and the stuff that was going on. He'd be there for me when I broke down and cried. Jay would hold my ex accountable and tell him he's wrong for the things he did. Apparently during this time I found out my ex had a history of doing shitty things to people he's in relationships with, and Jay even suggested what I was going through was a form of emotional abuse. I was taken aback by this and instantly denied that any abuse was ever taken in our relationship. Jay and I would have discussions about the severity of it for hours until I decided to talk to others and explore different subreddits. I finally came to terms with it and realized that I was possibly emotionally abused. However a few nights ago, Jay asked me how would I feel if my ex and him became friends again. They fell out due to their friendship becoming toxic because Jay always felt like he was cleaning up after his friend's mess. He also didn't like the fact he was hurting other people and not just me. So they stopped being friends for a bit. They do work together, so they do speak to each other every now and then. That night, Jay told me how he's spoken to my ex and he's seen improvements overall in his character. Jay asked me how I felt about that and how I felt about him. Jay. I told Jay I felt conflicted. I was a little hurt and confused because he was just telling me he thinks my ex was emotionally abusive and while I'm grateful for that because now I can look at our relationship of Jay and focus on healing more, it hurts because now he WB his friend again. He also told me it's because of their connection and friendship that I guess makes him want to try again. Jay also let me know that if my ex treated another girl the way he treated me again, he was going to beat his ass. One don't know how to feel nor do I know what to do. I don't want to be a controlling friend and police who he can slash can't be friends with, but I still feel hurt by that. What should I do? Should I continue to be his friend, or cut him off?